Well, 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 look at that. New DLC, new main menu screen, and new countries on this list. Brazil, Chile, and Argentina. Don't worry, please remain calm. But today, we're going to Brazil. It's an emergency, sir. Come back when it's a catastrophe. Oh, very well. So we'll be playing on Iron Man with historical focuses to see if things can play out differently for the second Brazilian Republic. Uh, yes, I know I can't get achievements because I have mods enabled. That's just my usual member mod. So if you want to see yourself in my armies, join up for the membership. Let's go. Uh, Brazil, I think the biggest country in Latin America and one of the more interesting ones. They got a very nice new focus tree in this DLC. Look at that. Look at that. We got some communism on the left this time. Actually put the commie tree on the left. We've got some centrism in the center exactly where it belongs and then a right-wing path or maybe two right-wing paths on the right leading to some very interesting results all around okay then we have an economy tree here all about dealing with the coffee crisis and then a massive army branch for army air force and navy well, we have certainly a lot of options, but we're going to need them. We have Legacy of the Naval Arms Race, our dockyards suck. Separatist sentiment, stability is bad. The Monroe Doctrine, so this is just the change where before the USA would just have everyone in America guaranteed. Now it's been replaced by this national spirit called the Monroe Doctrine. This gives the USA the option to intervene in wars, pretty much. Our economy is awful, our government's awful, and we have a state of emergency that for some reason causes communism. I, I don't know how that works. The usually use it to stamp out communism, but I digress. So what will we do as mighty Brazil? You know, there's only one real thing we can do here. We are bringing back the empire of Brazil. So for that end, end the state of emergency, ladies and gentlemen. So we got two research slots. Let's get some better guns and maybe the research. All right, so two research slots, not great, but I guess we can pick some more up. We have seven divisions. Let's convert them all into infantry. And for now, they can be parked on the border with Uruguay. I can intimidate them a little bit. We have history with this nation. I'm going to make you disappear. All right, production, not great. Uh, let's start building some toad artillery. Going to need to assign MIOs. Okay, I'll want some trains as well because I don't have any. And then it's just a matter of producing enough of everything everything so that our army's actually got guns. Okay. Resources, the usual. Let's trade with the US. Now, our economy sucks, so we'll have to make do with what we've got. I think we're starting with a little bit of infrastructure in places that we still have built slots available, and that give us a couple of resources. I think that's a nice start to things. Dockyards. Well, the dockyards suck, so we'll just build some convoys, and after that, I think I might start building some destroyers so that our navy at least looks a little bit bigger on paper, and we have the option to naval invade someone eventually like Portugal oh we got carrier planes let's just delete those I have no intention of using them I'm gonna sell them to the highest bidder what else we have going on here is the legacy of the I'm not even going to pronounce this jungle gangsters who are running amok we have to deal with that so we have about 364 days to deal with this which is something we want to do because it's gonna suck for stability if we don't get this fixed stability is going to go downhill so 365 days to get one two three four five of these done and and the way to fix that is over here, deal with them. So we'll have to fiddle with things. What I'm thinking is end state of emergency, a rush down to support Pedro Henrique's claim or Pedro de Alcantara, either Pedro will do. That will give our monarchism ticking and then we'll detour into dealing with the gangsters and that will fix the issue. All right, let's get going. You boys exercise The Navy can also exercise a little bit. I know that Uruguay has, yeah, they have a focus tree now as well. It's a smaller one. I say smaller, it's, it's absolutely massive, but they share the military tree with the rest of South America, more or less, and then a couple of specific things. Paraguay, same deal here, really. Shared military branch and then some separate individual stuff for them. Argentina got a massive update as well. They even have Perón hiding here somewhere and someone else, someone who might show up. Chile, massive, huge. I think this is the biggest one. All right, we can deal with the gangsters in a little bit. Well, we'll. I'm also going to change these two member divisions and that way every single one of our divisions will be named after channel members. Now I try to randomize these names as much as I can. So if you don't see your name pop up for a couple of weeks, I apologize. It just means we're incredibly unlucky. I right, got research, could grab more research, but we need to start working on the industry as well. With only two slots, we really 
really have to be picky about what we get. Imperial history romanticized. That we have Pedro on the left. 100 political power. And he grants us division speed, more air accidents, and daily support for non aligned So this is pretty all right. Pretty mid, if I'm honest. And then Pedro Henrique. Cheaper trade laws, which is a bit meh. Cheaper economy laws, which is all right. But how often do you change your economy laws? Twice? Maybe three times? And the same for support for non aligned I'm thinking Pedro de Alcantara, because the speed buff will always be useful. Whereas the cheaper trade laws and cheaper economy laws, like how off, how much of an impact is that really? And we have better guns. Now I can start making them. Let's work on construction. Let's get this country somewhat sorted out. We need a lot of work. So I'm going to hire the political fox first. And then everyone else in this category that I hire is 20% cheaper. So now they're way easier to get. I can just grab... Alfred here for 5% construction speed across the board and 2% research speed or I could hold off for someone else but he's like a good choice early on for now I think but I think I'm just gonna grab Alfred here construction and research speed is a pretty nice thing to have I start making better guns a lot more better guns I'm also gonna grab this industrial concern it's really cheap 10% industrial research is nice and 5% civilian factory is pretty all right but I'm gonna grab this one until one of the other ones becomes relevant like Banco de Brasil the others are okay, but not really game breaking. Except maybe like uh, the railway company has some nice bonuses to it if you want to spam trains. Yeah, I suppose this could work, but right now let's grab the uh, the coffee. Dispersed it is. We need to get this economy pumping. I need to spit out guns, artillery, and support equipment so I can actually build an army. We have so much manpower and so little guns. So few guns for them. All right, deal with the gangsters. Gangsters dealt with. Back to politics. And we're going to rush down to reestablishing the empire. No, actually, I'm going to rush down here to bribing the military. That's always a good idea. Bribe the millet. That has never backfired ever. It also leads to another research slot, which we desperately need. And it gets rid of weak government. I don't like having a weak government. And now we have unlocked the decisions. They cost 25 command power each. So we'll just start removing the gangsters, I suppose. They take 30 days to complete. And every time you complete one, the disaster gets uh, 50 days added to the timer. So if you time this right, you never have to worry about the gangsters and you can take all of them out. But that does mean you're hoarding your command power. That's why I haven't bought any military officers. Usually I want these guys early just so I can start getting some army experience taking. Right now, of course, I don't because all of my command power is going to the gangsters. With construction of all these infrastructure things finishing up, I guess we'll follow up with military factories. Let's also hire the fascist militarist. Look at his bonuses. 135 political power. Let's grab partial mobilization. Get this economy off its ass. There we go. Last operation. At least we We've taken care of that problem. And another research slot. We're now going to undermine National Congress, as you do, and towards re-establishing the Empire. That is the final gangster operation shut down. More stability, more political power, more army experience. Now I just need to fix my undiversified economy and my separatist sentiments. Okay. I do like this. 24 steel in Rio de Janeiro. That frees up a lot of factories that I don't know need for trade anymore. So I'm gonna do that. Steel is always good. And and then we'll see where we end up if we can continue down here or if we're going to stimulate the economy some more. And this also wouldn't be South America if it wasn't awful in terms of terrain. And for that reason, we are going to research mountaineers. They will be my best friends when I take on Chile, Bolivia, Peru, maybe even Argentina. We will now utilize the national security law to re-establish an absolute monarchy. Oh, and Germany's Anschlussing. So we do have a lot of work to do. So by the time we're really ready to start playing like one of the big boys, the world's already quite busy. The Kingdom of Brazil is now finally non-aligned. Don Pedro is in charge. I'm going to use a lot of political power now to get rid of my um, democracy support, communism support, and fascism support that is going to boost our stability overall. And meanwhile, we're going to continue down here to re-establishing the Empire of Brazil. And we might go for the United Kingdoms of Brazil and Portugal. I have a feeling I want to be more powerful by the time we come knocking on Portugal's door. Also going to change the Mountaineer template to 25 widths. Now, these are going to be expensive bad boys, but they'll be my shock troops and they will have to do high priority. Portugal said no. I don't like that. I'll have to make demands later on. Uh, let's first make some demands on a smaller neighbor here, Uruguay. 
who who is not gonna have a wonderful time by the time I'm through with them. All right, you guys may or may not have heard, I am selling desk pads. They've been around for uh, last month, and last Sunday they officially ended production, or they would have. I have gone to Epic Desk on my knees and begged them beg them to extend the sale and they've agreed for another two weeks so the 17th is the last time you can get these desk pads you guys asked for it i tried to go above and beyond to get you guys an opportunity to pick these up after all so if you want one of these pick them up using the link down below or don't i'm not your dad now back to the video Better choose some doctrines. I could go all in on mountaineers, but I haven't recruited my, my uh, mountaineer boys yet. I think instead, let's just start working on superior firepower and the infantry in the field. Let's start giving them some support artillery. That way, they at least do a little bit of damage. We're ready to go to war here. Oh, Argentina will see that we're making aggressive moves. I have no idea what that does, but uh, we're about to find out. Meanwhile, let's do restoring Brazilian honor. That gets rid of the unwilling subjects. That's good, at least. Let's head straight for Montevideo. I don't think Argentina's really gonna do anything. Yay, peace deal. All right, so we're just gonna take everything. Next stop, Bolivia, I guess. We'll stop the training. Mountaineers can come in any time now. Just force deploy them. It's not ideal, but Mountaineers rush down there. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're just gonna fight them straight up. Declare the war. They don't have any friends. Let's just battle plan this. I'm gonna march the Mountaineers to Santa Cruz de la Sierra, and then up to Sucre, and then up to Pla Plas. I don't want to touch the Portuguese yet. Maybe for now, let's take a detour here to get more mills. I am about to cap Bolivia again without any real opposition. Brilliant. All of their stuff is now my stuff. Congratulations. Bring my guys closer to home and then start planning. If I want to take out Portugal straight away, I don't know if my navy outclasses the Portuguese. I don't think it does. I'm quite sure it doesn't. So I'm not certain if I can get a naval invasion going, but I really do want to try. Let's see if I can construct new naval bases and purchase destroyers and submarines. Maybe I can get some, like, some people's trash that will allow me to beat the Portuguese Navy. Meanwhile, I'm just going to keep training troops. Now I'm going to buy someone else's ships, or at least try. There's no way in which this can possibly go wrong. Well, there goes Czechoslovakia. Ooh, I can spark a new naval arms race. It would make it easier to build ships. But do I want that now? You know, this might be funny if it lets Argentina and Chile build more ships that I can then steal from them. Yes. And then I swear, I swear I'll go for Portugal. Again, this is not a guy. This is me trying to have as much fun as the Empire's Brazil as possible. Please, America, give me ships. Please, Britain, also give me ships. Now, maybe I can get Germany to send me some subs as well. All right, American ships, British ships. All right, sweet. Let's work towards the Portuguese war goal now. We're going to demand total Portuguese submission. We shall demand the surrender of all their lands to us or take them by force if necessary. Naval invasion support on Cap Verde. Are they playing? We have 32 ships. I should be able to contest the Portuguese Navy. And everyone should probably stop training. Except for the French commune. You need a little bit of experience here. All right, let's stop all the training now. If this goes ploying shaped, I'm going to be angry. Germany sent me a bunch of submarines as well. This is actually a really good way to quickly get yourself somewhat of a navy. Portugal refuses, so we'll get ourselves a war goal. We're going to declare that war. They have no friends. Naval invasions can go because I have total naval dominance. All right, my fleet's bigger than theirs. Suck on that. This is going to be very interesting. I'm at war with Portugal. We'll soon find out how this goes. Let's keep improving the army then, meanwhile. I think strength of the common soldier is going to be the better one. Extra division org leads to some... Ooh, very nice for specialists. Yeah, it's going to go with strength of, this, of the uh, individual soldier. Right, let's see if we can actually capitulate Portugal <laughs> and establish ourselves as a true empire. Please don't join any factions, though. My hope is that I can take the Azores and the uh, Portuguese Guinea and and then from there, head to Madeira, and then Portugal itself. All right, so they have people in place. That's less than optimal, but I think I can dislodge them. That is that taken care of. Just in case, plan another naval invasion, and then you two plan an invasion up there of Madeira. No, we've got it. We've got it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to play Brazil like this. I think I need to be taking out Argentina, Paraguay, and Chile, but come on. It's Portugal's right there. I'm going to need to use force attacks to dislodge the troops in Madeira, I think. 
And now Germany's kicked off the war, so things are gonna go terribly for Europe. In any case, I think we'll take Madeira. Hurrah! And now from here, we'll take the rest of the island. I did take a lot of damage here. Let's group the main navy back up. Halt, uh, go back to port, preferably that port. And the entirety of Red Army can go over here as well. This is gonna be horrible, but it's gonna have to be done. Four divisions. What do I use these for? You two will hit the port above Portimao, and you hit the tile next to Portimao. We'll use more divisions here to hit the port itself and then some divisions to distract the enemy up there and then one more naval invasion for good measure just to see if they have anything up in Porto. I already screwed up. I already screwed up. Halt, 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 halt. Yeah, I forgot to get them the org they needed. Without the organization they wouldn't have been able to put up a good fight. Let's just try it again. I see absolutely no way this could possibly go wrong. Oh, this is actually looking very favorable. We're actually going to do this. We're actually going to be doing this. Ah, I love it. All right, Mountaineers down south. You go there. You go there. We're actually going to be doing this. Now I just need to ship my boys in urgently. Well, with this looking like a definite win, we'll move to secure our borders. And I'm in Porto and then Braga. Peace deal. Sweet. Oh, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. I'll take your entire navy. I will probably just start puppeting stuff. Angola. Yes. Mozambique. Yes. Guinea. Bizarre. All right, those can all be puppeted. And then I'll just puppet the Portuguese themselves and stack a bunch of war operations as well as resource rights. Confirm and exit. And now we have a Portuguese puppet. Brazil. <laughs> Brazilian Portugal. Salazar, you should have just listened. And I've got all their factories. I've got all of their resources as well as all the puppets. So Guinea is ours. Angola. Mozambique. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe I should have taken Cape Verde, but uh, this will do. This will definitely definitely do. Let's bring the army home. They've done well. Let's set up on Paraguay and then afterwards we can have a chat with the people in Argentina. Argentina. Oh, and we got the entire Portuguese navy as well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Border secured. We either go for domination of the Americas, which definitely, definitely takes my preference, or the good neighbor policy, where we're basically just pretty lame. Pretty lame. So this allows us to join the allies, which is good if you want the achievements, I guess. Honestly, just on a core South America. Yeah, domination it is. The Guiana crisis. We pretty much pressure the holders of Guiana into giving me their stuff. It doesn't seem to work for the Netherlands. I think it's coded to whoever's capital isn't there. So the Netherlands have capped and their capital has moved to Paramaribo. And as a result, they're no longer included. When you look at the start of the game and the Netherlands capital is still in Europe, where it's supposed to be, you send a, a, an ultimatum to all three. Right now, we only send it to the UK and France. I think that's bug right now? I'm not sure, but it's a little annoying. Maybe they hand over their stuff. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so they were suitably impressed by our massive armies then. I like. I like. All right, so we grow bigger, larger, stronger. Now, we do have a little bit of a Dutch stain there, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to intervene in Paraguay. They have no friends. They will get an ultimatum and... <laughs> Sure, say no to me with your four divisions at most. Sure, that should be easy enough. They're gone and they're not coming back. And with that, we now just turn our attention to mighty Argentina. Biggest and baddest of our neighbors. I'm really not concerned about Argentina. Let's keep making more guns, more artillery. I think I can actually make the division change now that I want it and get my 15 widths with artillery support. I'll keep exercising the troops for now. I'm thinking naval invasion in the south of Argentina to really like put the pressure on. I think they are done for. Like their army is not big enough to stand up to me. Ah, Argentina takes the bait. So instead of us getting a war goal or declaring war on them, we pretty much just baited them into attacking us, which they have done now. So false flag successful. They have declared war. Focus is this is more war goals. I'm not going to go for Chile yet or for the Panama push. I got plenty of time for that. Oh, Argentina brave, but ultimately pointless. Oh, last standing. So I, I see them spitting out a lot of fresh divisions, which is going to be annoying, and the last stands aren't helping. <sighs> we should still be able to take them out. The capital of Argentina encircled Buenos Aires is going to have quite the headache, 
by the morning. Mountaineers should be able to hold that easily. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm one tile short for Mountaineers. This is just storm Buenos Aires. Oh, Argentina, you've lost. Admit it. There we go. So we'll take their navy. I always like having more ships, and then we'll just annex everything else. Because we can core it if we get to the end of our focus tree. That leaves us with very big Chile that needs taking out. Ooh, that's going to be a challenge. Right, so I had to change the thought. Uh, instead of taking out Chile or Peru first, they're both pretty awful. I might go for Venezuela first. I can leverage my fleet for that. Probably, maybe, uh, allow me to take out Venezuela relatively quickly. Now, that would secure most of my northern flank. I'm going to need to spit out more divisions just to keep covering all of the extra fronts I'm going to be creating for myself. And I should definitely design somebody to guard my ports. Something pretty bad. Some trash will do. But I don't have the army experience for it right now. I just noticed it's January of 1941. And if I ever want to get anywhere, I want to act fast. So I'm going to establish the Berlin Accords and uh, join the Axis. And if I can get in here quickly enough before the Americans get involved, I might just might be able to knock out the UK before the USA joins the war. And I think it's going to pay off more than me just conquering Venezuela. I can always conquer Venezuela later. The Berlin Accords have been established. I am now in the Axis. I'm going to see if I can set up for the ultimate memory. <laughs> the usual invasion of the UK. I know, I know. I got a lot of hate for this. Like, why do you do this? You just make it, you make everything too easy. That's the point, my friends. Everything is go. Navy is out. We're going to accept this. We're going to go to war. Slow the game down. <laughs> Still have naval superiority. The UK is not own. It works 100%. Oh, our navy is actually bigger than the UK's, at least for the strike force in the North Sea. So we actually overpower their navy. Good. I hope it doesn't get blown up though. Slow the game down and see what we can make happen here. I want to see the magic. Okay, it looks like we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Joint assault. More units landing. Joint assault on hull. If I can get hull. I'm in the clear. We've taken hull. That means 18 more divisions on their way. Let's just cancel that create a new battle line, head south. I don't want much out of this war, so in theory, I should be able to just push, 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 and quickly capitulate the enemy. But if I have the advantage now, I kind of want to exploit it. So I want to try and occupy as much of the UK as possible. And I'm going to turn off allied support or allied supply so they can never send supplies in. I don't want Germany and the others sending supplies in. Now let's quickly take as much of the local supply hubs as we can, head for Liverpool and cut the UK in half. Well, I guess this is game over for the UK, really. Already in London. Ah, I actually didn't want to capture London. I forgot about it. I wanted to encircle London and just capture everything else, but this will have to do. 7% participation is not amazing, but I might be able to at least take some of the areas in Latin America. And they're dead either way. Damn it. Yay, peace deal. Ugh. Yeah, I'll just focus on taking the things that I value most, which is North American land, the factories and islands. A anything in America, really. Every anything else doesn't matter. Well, that concludes quite the peace deal. And the allies, I think, are wiped out. We secured, well, a bunch of islands like the uh, Las Malvinas here, South Georgia. I took all of the islands, so I, I, I took what I wanted, what I needed. Good start to the campaign. Now we can finish it up without having to worry about the allies getting involved and I can gobble up Venezuela, I can gobble up Chile, I can gobble up Peru and meanwhile we- god this tree is massive. We work our way down to America del Sur and that should give us cores on all of South America. You know maybe we might even end up fighting the um, the big dogs in America as well. Well let's get the Panama push and that should allow me to eat my neighbors. That is the Panama push. We have our war goal. We're just gonna declare war. We're not gonna call any friends. We have the navy there. We're gonna try and naval invasion the north of Venezuela, not do anything in the south here, it's just pointless. And we'll head to America del Sul. This will give us decisions to gain cores on territory in the South Americas. Let's go. I wonder if the USA is ever going to get involved here. This is actually quite a few divisions these guys have. Maybe I should put some spies here. Oh, Venezuela. It's Jover. It's so Jover now. Let's see where the victory points are. They are well and truly on their way out the door. So there's nothing really down south here, I think, of value. So I should probably go to Maracay. 
Maracaibo. Don't think they have any other victory points. I can't see any. Uh, Bolivar down there, one victory point. So we'll see where we go. Yeah, this is over. Oh, this is the dumbest thing ever and I love it. Congratulations. That is Venezuela out. So who do we have left? Colombia? I can probably take them easily. Peru, Ecuador, and then Chile. Well, America del Sul, we are now America del Sul, and we can core all of these territories. I should not have spent all my political power just now. But yeah, this will allow us to integrate all of these different states. It takes 30 days. I think it involves everything that is counted as South America. So pretty much the entire continent can be integrated. I think all you need to do have a certain amount of compliance or just occupy. No, you have to own the territory. So occupation is not enough. You need to own it and then you can core it. I'm just going to go here, fight Peru on my own. I don't need German help to do it. Yeah, my mountaineers should have no trouble at all blasting through these mountains. So I am feeling fairly confident that I can take the win here. Unfortunately for me, Peru has managed to somewhat fall back in good order. Well, reasonably good order. As a result, they're putting up quite the fight for the last couple of victory points. Ultimately, it's going to be pointless and I will destroy them, but they're putting up more of a fight than I had expected. Uh, oh, you know, I spoke too soon. They're, they're gone. I'll take all their boats. I'll take all their lands. Submit demands. There we go. Time to make Ecuador disappear. Shouldn't be too difficult. Quick naval invasion and... Well, if, if they can land, if they can't, we'll just go through the mountains, as you do. Should be easy enough. Oh, yeah, that's easy enough. All right. Yeah, there goes Ecuador. There goes Ecuador. Didn't even put up a fight. All right, so that is all of that done. I guess we're going to Chile then. Yeah, there goes Chile. We just rolled them. Very thin country, not easy to defend, and we'll take their entire fleet. They had a pretty big fleet for a country this size. That is everything taken. That is all, almost all of Latin America, or at least South America, under our boot heel. I I guess we are kind of obligated to take out Ecuador now. I will have to justify manually, and I'm pretty sure the USA is going to guarantee their independence, but I don't think there's another way to get a war goal on them. No, I'm pretty sure there's not. And to think it's 1942, I've conquered all of South America, almost all of South America, and there's so much of the focus we left to do. The German and Italian stuff is still left undone. Most of the military branch is not touched the air branch completely untouched. Most of the naval stuff haven't even looked at it. And this is the economy tree. I have so much of the economy tree left to do and we're already this powerful. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. Yeah, goodbye, Panama. I didn't realize I had a war goal on you. Now, I do wonder why I never got a war goal on, on Colombia, though. That's just odd. I would have assumed they'd be involved. Guess not. Well, I'll just take Panama then. That gives me Panama. Oh my god, Panama had ships. Panama's never had ships before. Doesn't really matter because they're mine now. But that, okay, I didn't know Panama actually had ships. I'll just put my army here and march in from that side as well. Well, I guess we're taking out Colombia and finishing this once and for all. I might be tempted to fight the USA, but not really that interested if I'm honest. And there goes Colombia. Barely any resistance. Oh, they also had some ships. That's new. Select everything, confirm and exit. And just like that, all of South America is in America do Sul. Everything is Brazil. Brazil is everything. It is wonderful. It is is ridiculously overpowered, but this is pretty much as far as the focus tree is going to take you in terms of war goals. Maybe not. I can get claims on everything in the South Atlantic Ocean, but I already have that. And I get some claims in Africa, but that's just Liberia. Guess we're done anyway, then. That seems like a good idea. Just, just annex Liberia now for good measure, and then we can call it a day. Expand my colonial empire. We'll take out Liberia. I'm going to call this puppet to arms so I don't actually have to walk. I actually have to naval invade and we'll just kill Liberia and call it a day. There we go. I'll just puppet them and be done with it. Oh, that's a first. Germany is invading Japan. And at the same time, China and Japan got the white piece. So this is going to be really, really weird. Oh, I didn't even see this. So if I improve relations with all these Latin American countries some more, I can invite them to my Mercosul faction. I'm curious to see if this works. I'm going to give it a try. I want to see what that does. Oh, I could justify in Costa Rica, but that might make them a little angry. No way. They just join your 
Warrior faction. I guess that's a way to like build strength here. We prefer to just eat them probably, but since you can core them anyway, might as well make them useful, I suppose. In any case, we have cored all of the territory we can core. I think except for Trinidad and Corothao, but it's 1943. I'm really not interested in fighting this absolutely ridiculous German Reich or the equally ridiculous United States. I think you guys have a good idea of what the new Brazilian focus tree is capable of. I think it's ridiculously overpowered if you optimize the fun out of it, but it has some really weird and wacky twists and turns to it. It's interesting. It's fun. It's strong. And it's 1943. And look at how many focuses we still have left to do. This country can become absurdly powerful if you want to play this well into the late game, which you definitely, definitely can. Anyway, that's enough for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hope you guys will enjoy this next one as well. See you.